Are you looking for an athletic scholarship? You're in the right place. This is the Recruit Me Athletic Scholarship Podcast, the longest running podcast on recruiting and athletic scholarships. We're here to help your family navigate the recruiting road all the way to an athletic scholarship. He's a recruiting expert and a dad of a D1 athlete and a high school athlete pursuing a scholarship. With a wealth of experience to share, here's Recruit Me CEO, Brent Hanks. Thank you for joining me for 15 minutes that will change your athletic scholarship future. Today, I'm going to give an up-close look into our family's current recruiting situation. We are going to walk through what we, our family, is doing in Sutton's current recruitment. Sutton is my youngest of two sons. He is now entering his senior year in high school at Ozark High School. Sutton is wanting to play baseball in college, and through his hard work and him seeing his older brother's success in both high school and college, he feels that playing in college will enhance his higher education experience. Parker, my older son, is a pitcher at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. Parker is entering his senior year in college. I have had Parker on as a guest on the Athletic Scholarship Podcast twice. Go back to episodes 211 and 256 to hear some of Parker's experiences in high school and college and get advice on recruiting and handling college. So Sutton, as he goes into his senior year of high school, is facing many recruiting challenges, just like thousands of other high school seniors across the country, and just like you are facing now or maybe in the future. The recruiting process is hard enough in normal circumstances. The last two years with COVID and seasons being canceled and the opportunity for athletes to get an additional year of eligibility have tilted the scales of recruiting, and the class of 2022 is right in the middle of it. Roster sizes in any sport are high, and college athletes are transferring in record numbers. Many coaches had to wait to contact high school student-athletes face-to-face because of recruiting dead periods that were extended and because the coaches had to wait until their season was over to evaluate who was taking an extra year of play or who was transferring. So Sutton and I have done the main components of the Recruit Me 3.0 athletic scholarship system. Go to recruit-me.com backslash system for more information and click on Get Access to Purchase. Welcome to episode 262 of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. This episode is the last of the series of Sutton's Recruitment, Steps 5 and 6, How to Track Communications and How to Send Updates. Now that Sutton has gone through the first four steps of the Recruit Me 3.0 system, it is time to reap the rewards of those steps by efficiently tracking his communications back and forth with coaches and then sending responses and updates to coaches to keep them interested in him and to eventually get an offer and a scholarship. So let's build on those four previous steps. Sutton, and hopefully you, have built your school list. Step one, you've written your great introductory email. Step two, and created your one-sheet profile and then sent them to coaches on your list. You did step four by building your personal recruiting questionnaire. The questionnaire covered in last week's episode, 261, is a time saver and a tool to differentiate yourself from other recruits. Now let's tackle steps 5 and 6 of the process. Step 5 is to track your communications. Tracking your communications is important. Coaches may contact you either by email, by phone, by text, or by social media, or by a combination of any of those. How are you going to keep who contacted you straight? who contacted you, and what was said. Let me give you some simple options. When I say simple, I mean simple to put together, but it takes work to stay on top of all the information. Whether you have three schools or 15 schools in the mix of communications, keeping all the relevant information organized and keeping it in a handy and easy way to refer to is hard. An easy way to do this is to keep a chart on your computer using a spreadsheet or a Word document. You can make columns that have the college's name, the coach's name, the coach's phone, and email addresses. A column header that says, My Interest Level. And a column with sent introductory email and player profile sent date. And the completed recruiting questionnaire date. Add a column for your video sent date. Make space for a column of sent updates. And finally, a column for contact dates and notes. Remember, all of the specifics and examples are in the Recruit Me 3.0 Athletic Scholarship System. Go to recruit-me.com backslash system for details on how to get that system. Most of the information is self-explanatory, 
But in the update column, you can put the date you sent the update and a note like high school stats or summer schedule or ACT or SAT scores. In the contact dates and notes, record all the contacts. Here's an example of how to record your contacts. Put the date, 9-12. Coach McCann called, referred by Coach Price. Said he'd call weekly. He is extremely interested. 9-22. I left a message to stay in touch. 9-24. Coach called. Long conversation. Will pay for a visit. Will be in California October 7th. So, take good notes and be specific. Remember to update this as soon as possible after you've had a contact with a coach. Don't wait. I know you will, but don't wait. Also, remember to set it up where you can see your document on your phone. You can update it on your computer or on your phone and it will share an update. Your spreadsheet or work document can have all the schools in one place or one school per page. It's your preference. Another way to keep records on your contact with coaches is the Athletic Scholarship 24-Month Planner and Journal book written by John Fugler, the founder and former owner of Recruit Me. Contact me at brent at recruit-me.com or get the book on Amazon for $20. There will be more information on the planner and journal at the end of this podcast. I hit on the pages of the 24-month planner and journal in episode 258. A sub-step in step 5 is to have questions ready for coaches. Yes, you have to think about and write down or type out questions so that you won't be stumbling through a call or a text as you communicate with that coach. A coach that is possibly giving you an opportunity to play at his or her school and could be giving you thousands of dollars in scholarship money. Listen to episodes 241 and 242 for more information on questions to ask. This is definitely where a tracking sheet comes into play. If you have specific questions for specific coaches, then jot them down on your sheet so you can have them available. A great learning lesson in the recruiting process is that you, the high school student athlete, can learn how to talk to adults. Remember, you are four years away from the job world, and this is an early lesson for you as you get into the business world. One of the great pieces of advice in the Recruit Me 3.0 system is to keep the communications going back and forth. It is not your goal on how many calls you can receive, but it is to keep as many options open as you possibly can. Key points to step five are that things can get out of control if you don't have a good tracking system for your letters, emails, texts, and phone calls, and maybe even your social media post. Two ways to track is to make a chart or use a 24-month planner and journal. Also, have your questions for the coaches ready in advance so you can ask them those questions when he or she calls. Appendix B of the Recruit Me 3.0 system has questions to ask the coach questions about athletics, academics, college life, and financial aid. I would like to give you a reminder that you don't just do the step and then never do that step again. Step one, the making the school list step, is an ever-changing project. Schools go on and off your list as you change your sights on what you like and how you progress athletically and academically. Step two, the introductory email, needs to be reviewed and rewritten as things change like the schools that you send to, the time of year or the season, and don't forget to personalize each email to the school you're sending to. Step three, the player profile may need to be updated with a new picture and updated stats. Step four is a recruiting questionnaire, and there are items you will need to review and update. Sutton has gone through all the steps and is still working through them. As the class of 2022, Sutton, and like I said earlier, thousands of other high school student athletes, their recruiting has been weird. It has been difficult for many weird reasons from the COVID shutdowns. Sutton and I put off sending most of his introductory emails and player profiles until just this last summer. We waited because of the lack of video, the lack of stats, the lack of opportunities for coaches to actually come and see him play, and the lack of camps and showcases. We had done a lot of research on many schools, but waited to engage with those schools until coaches were able to get back into the recruiting mode. So now that Sutton has information sent to coaches, we are just sitting around and waiting for the coaches to respond. No, we are not doing that. We are proactive as we follow up with coaches with occasional update emails, texts, or phone calls. I was in the car business for 30 years as our family owned a Chevrolet dealership. I started selling cars when I was 19 years old. I'd wash cars and clean the service and body shops and was basically a general lot boy since I was 15. 
So during my second summer of college, I moved to the sales floor. I learned quickly from the veteran salespeople how to follow up on prospective car buyers. If a couple visited the car lot and looked at a new or used car, I would walk out on the lot and introduce myself and talk to the couple to find out what they were looking for and try to find out their names, where they were from, what they did for a living, and the prize piece of information was their phone number. Remember, this was back in 1996, and there were no cell phones, no texting, and there was not even internet or emails. So if I didn't get a phone number, I may never talk to the potential car buyer again. If I got the phone number, I had a plan to follow up on the prospective buyers after they left, and a plan on how to keep track of our communications. Does that sound familiar? My plan was to keep my name and voice in front of them until they bought a car from me or someone else. I wanted to show the customer I cared and that I would outwork any other salesperson at any other dealership. And just like baseball, it was a game of numbers. If I talked to 10 possible buyers in a week, my goal was to sell at least three of those potential buyers. Well, that sounds like another podcast subject. A follow-up was planned to give them relevant information, like maybe a new rebate was available or a car that they liked came in in a different color, or now I could give them more money for their trade-in. Just like follow-ups or updates to coaches should be information that is relevant and helpful to the coaches to see you in a better light. Updates should be planned. Send an update before and after every season, high school and off-season or club season. Send an update after any athletic or academic honors are received. Send an update after taking and receiving your ACT or SAT test results. You can even send an update after a week or a weekend of games or a tournament. Now, you will be sending an update to multiple schools, so slow down and personalize each email, and make sure your coach's name is correct, and throw in how great it would be to be a Wildcat or a Raging Cajun. Updates can be very short, one or two sentences, or they can be one page. Sending updates is the best way to show your continued interest and have the coaches update your file. This was my goal as a car salesman, to have top of mind awareness with my potential customers. And this is basically the same thing that you are doing when you're trying to get a college athletic scholarship. You are in competition with hundreds of other prospective recruits. The teams you are shopping have limited resources, time, and money. So if you are persistent and keep your name and face in front of the coaches, when they are looking to fill a spot on their roster... You will stand a higher chance that that coach will contact you. The culmination of all these steps and all the work is getting an offer, both scholarship-wise and playing spot-wise, on a team and a college. If you do steps 1 through 5 and don't fully implement step 6, sending updates, then you are just hoping a customer comes back to buy the car from you. Oops, I mean just hoping a coach contacts you for that recruiting class. Don't just hope a coach remembers you. Put yourself out there in front of him or her so they don't forget you. This episode ends the series of the look into Sutton's recruitment and the six steps of the Recruit Me 3.0 system. If you have questions about any of these steps, then please contact me, brent at recruit-me.com, and I will be glad to respond. Get the complete Recruit Me 3.0 system at recruit-me.com backslash system, or click on the link in the show notes. Remember, I have a hot summer special going right now on the Recruit Me 3.0 system. Episodes 254 through 261 introduce the recruiting checklist from the Athletic Scholarship 24-month Planner and Journal. This checklist and book were written by John Fugler, the founder and former owner of Recruit Me. The recruiting checklist has nine items to help you organize and check off as you go through the recruiting process. Get the recruiting checklist by purchasing the Athletic Scholarship 24-month Planner and Journal for 20 bucks. You can contact me, brent at recruit-me.com, to get this great resource, or you can go to Amazon. You can also get the Athletic Scholarship 24-month Planner and Journal by purchasing the Hot Summer Special of the Recruit Me 3.0 system, as mentioned earlier. Or there is a new link on the recruit-me.com website in the Resources tab to get the recruiting checklist for only $1. The recruiting checklist will be sent directly to you by email, and you can download it and start on it immediately. There is a link in the show notes, too. So whether you are an incoming high school freshman or right in the middle of your recruiting process, you need to get this helpful resource today. I'm in the middle of the hot summer special on the Recruit Me 3.0 Athletic Scholarship System. 
The Recruit Me 3.0 is a step-by-step system that walks you through the whole recruiting process. If you are a freshman in high school, this is a great way to get started. If you are a junior in high school, this is a great way to get going. Go to recruit-me.com backslash system to get the information on this easy-to-access system. The Hot Summer Special includes the Recruit Me 3.0 system. Plus, I will send you not one, but two helpful resources to go along with the Recruit Me 3.0. For only $127, you get instant access to the Recruit Me 3.0 system. Plus, I will mail you a copy of the 356-page Athletic Scholarship 24-month Planner and Journal and the Athletic Scholarship Playbook, first edition. Both books are written by the Recruit Me founder, John Fugler. The Athletic Scholarship 24-month Planner and Journal is a $20 value, and the Athletic Scholarship Playbook is a $15 value. So, $120 gets you all three resources, no extra postage or handling. Click on Get Access on the recruit-me.com backslash system page to get started today. Subscribe to the Athletic Scholarship Podcast on your favorite podcast app or listen on recruit-me.com backslash podcast. Thanks for listening and see you next week.